Finance reached out to me to do this collab and uh, she asked us to all talk about our worst car buying mistake and our three pieces of advice for buying a car. She's buying a new car and uh, she wanted, you know, some advice. So I thought this was such a fantastic idea for a collab. So I'm super excited to be participating in it. And as always, I'll link them all down below and then I'll be creating a playlist when it goes live. So if you just want to go over and watch the whole playlist, watch everybody's take on it, go right ahead. It'll be there waiting for you. So let's get into it. So my biggest car buying mistake, Mauricio and I talked about this last night as I was uh, writing, writing down my ideas for this collab. We decided, honestly, as a couple, we don't have any major regrets with any of the cars that we've ever purchased. When we first moved to Baton Rouge, we bought a beater, and I mean a beater. It was actually a Mercedes, but it was, you know, so old, and on its last legs, I think we paid like $1,000 for it, and we actually bought it while we were waiting for our car to come in from Columbia. The, the reason we bought it is we knew it would take about three months for our car to get there, and my job didn't cover a rental car for three months, and we did the math, and it was actually gonna be cheaper for us to buy a beater car and uh, drive that for three months and then donate it or get rid of it than it was going to be to rent a car for uh, three months. So we went ahead and did that, which was really fortunate because it did end up taking actually five or six months for our car to come in. And then we actually used that car for Mauricio to drive to and from work when he worked in construction for about a year and a half until it completely died. And then we donated it to a charity organization that was super excited to get it. Our, our second car we bought, we bought used and we actually paid cash for it. It was a Ford F-150 pickup and it's what we bought to replace Mauricio's Mercedes. We got it in an amazing deal from a friend who was just, it was a work truck and they were trying to get rid of it. And so, it, and we actually ended up ultimately trading that car for um, the expedition that we have today. We really made out on that one. But, um, so we, um, we've done really well with cars. Now, when I first graduated from college, I bought a brand new car. I bought a Camaro convertible and it was brand new and I loved it and I drove it and drove it. It was not a smart financial decision, but honestly, I don't know that I regret it. So would I advise somebody about, uh, would I advise somebody to buy a new car? No, absolutely not. I would always buy used and probably always will buy used I, because truthfully, if it's well taken care of, why lose all that value in the beginning? My buying tips, obviously, aside from paying cash for it and um, buying used, which everybody would tell you, my biggest advice would probably be buy an electric or a hybrid vehicle. I say that because now, mind you, you're talking to the girl who's driving a 2005 Expedition. That thing sucks gas like nobody's business. But Mauricio drives a used Ford Fusion Titanium, which is a fantastic hybrid vehicle. Initially, I was against the whole hybrid concept, but now that we have it, I don't think I'll ever go back. And in fact, when we buy our next car to replace mine, I can virtually guarantee you that it's going to be a fully electric vehicle because the amount it increases the electricity is minimal and the amount it saves us on gas is phenomenal. And when my car is going through $250 a month just driving to and from work and Mauricio drives for Uber and Amazon Flex working 12 hours a day, six days a week, and he spends less on gas than I do, that tells me it's worth it. The second thing I recommend is if you're gonna buy it privately, meaning like you're not gonna buy it used at CarMax or something, I would say go privately. But the second thing I'm gonna recommend is make sure you have it checked out by a reputable uh, mechanic. If there is somebody you know that knows cars really well, take them, have them look at it, or ask the person who you're buying it from if you can take it to a mechanic. Most people will say yes. It's totally worth the 50 or $100 investment to have the mechanic check it out and find out if you're gonna have problems. Find out if you need to have belts replaced. Find out if you are having, you're gonna have issues with it down the road. 
find out if it's been in an accident. That small amount of money that you're investing to have a mechanic look it over will save you stress and struggle and all sorts of drama down the road. So have a mechanic look it over. And finally, my third and final point is if you're planning on having kids or maybe you already have kids, buy leather. There will be vomit. You will have to clean it up. And I promise you, you cannot get vomit smell out of, of uh, cloth interior. So buy leather. It cleans up easily. It's much, much easier to maintain. It lasts longer. It costs more, but it's worth it in the end especially when your car doesn't smell like vomit on hot days. Just saying, cause it will. Ask any mom out there, your car will smell like vomit if you don't get the leather car. If y'all have any tips for Freckle Finance, leave them down below and let her know what your suggestions are because I know there are about 10 million suggestions, but I could only pick three. So those were the three that I picked because you know I wanted to give her some not standard advice, the things that were important. So leave her a note down below and I'm sure she'll be checking it out and uh, wish her luck in buying her car. In fact, go to her page and say good luck buying your car on her video when she does it. So talk to you later. See ya. It's football day and this is my attempt to support my husband in football. I hate football, but you know, we're a football family. We're happy Les Miles has been let go. Okay, I could care less, but Mauricio is happy. So, you know, supporting the family, supporting the team. Go Tigers. Woo!